the builder definitely couldn't afford a skip on this one, so he's just hidden it all under the floorboards. Morning guys, for me, my imaginary watch, there it is, it's actually about four o'clock I think, I've been doing this little project for two days now, this is day two, I didn't film any of the building stuff uh, because my channel's more, you know, geared up for the electrical now, so um, I'll have a walk around now with you and then we'll probably skip to tomorrow where we're going to crack on with electrical but we can do a little walk around now, um, just have a look. So if you remember, this is the house where a few videos back I mentioned they wanted, um, we were splitting. So I've, I've created this doorway, we were splitting this main bathroom, which is there, into two. So this is the master with an ensuite now, and this will be the family bathroom. Um, and they wanted two mains powered showers, 10.8 kilowatt or 10 kilowatt. I said to her, look, you either have a changeover switch, um, priority, she didn't want that because sometimes the kids are in there having a shower and her husband's in there having a shower, blah, blah, blah. So they couldn't guarantee they wouldn't have the showers on at the same time. So I said, well, it won't work. You won't be able to have a shower at the same time because one will prioritize and one won't work. So um, what we've gone for is one mains power shower, which I'm gonna wire tomorrow and I'll film that. And also we're gonna wire an Aqualiza. So I'll show you that now. Here's a doorway which I've created uh, through their bedroom. Um, I've got to get rid of this double socket, which I've just literally chopped out of the wall. Um, I've made that archway good. So we've got to split these three lights. They're switched with next door, so they've got to have their own pull cord here. For some reason, she wants the door opening outwards, but that doesn't matter. So pull cord here. Main's power shower is going to go on here um, in a shower cubicle. There's going to have a corner cubicle with a little toilet and a basin. Uh, and also got to install a extractor fan, um, an extractor fan in here. Into this room, which was linked via this weird little sort of Spanish archway. So all the lights are switched on by here. Horrible box. It's also had some add-ons, the fan and whatnot, but at least it's got a, an isolation. I'm swapping that fan for a new one. Um, obviously it's going to get rid of this horrible, I think this was like a horrible heater on the wall there um, that's the old mixer um, bath is going to go along here so we're going to put a, a new shower on here i think it's going to go there and the head's going to go there so aqualise is going to go there and a the pretty good thing is on the back of that is an airing cupboard so all i've got to wire to that it only requires a three amp fuse so you can come off a ring main um, I've known people even to mount the transformer in the loft and wire it off the light in with its own fuse spur fuse down to three amps which is adequate you know it's it doesn't need a lot of power it's only a small pump and it uses a hot and cold feed um, yeah so yeah and here are the fans and the other bits and bobs so we've gone for vent axia two of those there's the Myra shower, electric, I think, yeah, it's 10.8 kilowatts at 240 and 9.9 .9 at 230. So, yeah, 10 mil for that. And this is the Aqualiza. Pretty expensive, but these are good showers. Um, Very good showers. So we'll get into that tomorrow. We'll get into this. There's the airing cupboard for tomorrow. And I'll just quickly show you the fuse board downstairs. Got some trunk in for my cable that's going in the cupboard. And here is the fuser board. The cupboard doesn't open because it hits the tiles. Um, George Foreman's in there. So we have got some labels, some domestic install, I can't see at the minute. Circuit six, not sure what he's done. But I've not even priced this, this is extras, so I'm probably gonna mount I don't know yet, if I can get RCBOs for that, if it's got an RCD, um, I'm gonna do something in here, but we'll get into that tomorrow, but I just thought I'd show you the cupboard. So, I will see you tomorrow, bright and breezy. Don't be late. Morning. We're back. I'm fresh. Well, not that fresh, I've been up all night, but hey ho. That's a different story. So I think first thing what I'm gonna do is tackle uh, these lights in this bathroom here uh, these need to be switched separately we're going to put a pull cord inside here 
um, the client wants a quiet pull cord, contact them, do one. Um, I've used them before. They're pretty quiet. They also do a dimmer. It's called a dimmer pull cord. I don't think it's actually a, um, let's put this right, a mechanical switch. It's like a, an electronic switch, so it's silent. £25 to £30, depending on where you go. So split these lights off of here, get the fan in, and then we'll have a look in the loft. There is another bedroom, but there is a little bit of a loft, but we'll have a look in a minute. First things first, though, the client did say, help yourself to a cup of tea. As the kettle's boiling, I thought I'd come up here. In 2012, somebody did some work here, and I see. Circuit 6. So he's put a Hagar breaker in MK, which is fine because you probably can't get these breakers, but obviously we know we're not allowed to mix and match. Um, can't pull this, but obviously we don't. This is sealed, this one, so I'd never ever cut them. And I'm being serious now, I'd never cut them. If these are cut, um, fine. The only way I can see you doing it, can't not allowed to cut that now because he sealed that. So, how are you ever going to come in? Obviously, you have to get the these guys to come in and put you an isolation switch on these tails I know a lot of guys take these out live but that's not for me might even find on this one there is an isolation switch sometimes if you take that out there's a little turn key in here you can turn it and it will isolate these tails obviously once that's isolated these guys will know because this is a smart meter but who cares so I've got to try and get something to fit in here because I'm working on the lighting and I'm going to be installing the shower circuit so hopefully we can get a new buzz bar, move the five amp over and get a, a new breaker for the shower in this one. If not, I'm gonna have to fit another enclosure here and try and split these tails without them finding out. Right, I've just popped these existing down lights out of the ceiling. And uh, these are JCC. Mm. That one's actually got three. That one's got three. For some reason, Oh no, that one has got three, sorry, my mistake. Anyway, I thought I'd just check how he's wired it. He's just come to this one, and then he's used a really old, weird, crappy connector off an old light, come through with two cores. Um, okay, I'll sort that out. As I'm working on this, I will redo this. Uh, that one's okay, so obviously we can tell that there is a joint box above here somewhere, so. Got to try and find that to disconnect these three lights off of those four lights. Right, so I'm now in the weird little loft conversion bit. This has got a separate loft above where I'm working. Um, as you can see, there's the extractor fan. What I've got to do is tee into that, put two non-return valves, and put an extra, ext put another extractor fan onto that one. Um, and there's like a junction box there. So I'm going to have to get in here at some point. To mess about with these lights so yeah interesting but yeah it's very scruffy um we have done it but it's, it's not not to current standards i would say right so i've since discovered that this little extension on the back here has got a flat ceiling a flat roof i should say so there's no way in how we're going to be able to put a fan in there so i'm going to ring the client up now and tell her it's going to come through here, through the wall, high level, showers going here, so perfectly adequate. So I'm just above the fuse board, the floor above, lifted this board. And it always inspires you when you're sort of faced with this sort of stuff. Just ends. <laughs> Ratty ends, where do they go? Nobody knows. I reckon this has been rewired at some point. Um, and just... Somebody's left loads of old cables up here, which, which is fine, they're dead, but it's nice to strip them out, isn't it? But, so I've got to get in here, 10mm, come through here, make this my main run through here, and then into the, uh, the airing cupboard in there, where I'm going to mount the switch. Some people might ask, why are you mounting the switch for the shower in the airing cupboard? Um, one thing, they don't want any um, switches on show in the corridors. I know, I know it's fine to do it, but they don't want to see it. Um, Another thing is, what I'll do is, I'll, on the label on the fuse board, when I put a new circuit chart, I'll label it up. I'll actually put locations of switches, but I've got to put a switch in for the Aqualiza shower. That's going to go in the airing cupboard as well. And also for the for the 10.8 kilowatt shower, uh, 50 amp um, MK double pole switch, that's going to go in there as well. And that'll all be labelled up what it does. Um, remember, these switches are just for maintenance only. The builder definitely couldn't afford a skip on this one, so he's just hidden it. 
all under the floorboards. So I'm just getting my main running for my shower cable. I've had to take up the whole bloody carpet just to get into the bathroom so we can get into the cupboard and to the shower. Um, if, you, if you haven't got any of these little rods, get some of these. These are a lifesaver. I've had to take this up because there was a herringbone. If you, if you don't know what herringbone is, it's two bits of wood uh, in a cross. So what I've done is wire through the top of the herringbones um, because you, you can't get all this up to clip this. If you say you're clipping this, you're not. You're lying. So you put this in the fabric of the building um, and this premature collapse ring just doesn't come into it because I'm above the timbers, the herringbone timbers. Um, if, if that's burning and falling, then the house is coming down. No one's rescuing, nobody in here. No farming are getting entangled in any of this. So you just wire in the fabric of the building. This is fabric of the building through here. No cables can hang and drop if these ceilings fall anyway. So cables now, um, I'm gonna tie it on here, pull it through, drill these down here, um, get, the, get the cable back to the board first. Just so you know, I'm not lying. Let's have a look where the cable's going. Through existing holes, through the timbers. So it's uh, within the fabric of the building. All right, holes are now drilled. I've gone either side. So they're staggered. Um, 50 mil up, 50 mil down, centre of the timber. You've got to use your logic here. Um, if you was to take the measurement from the edge of the beam, I'd probably have to do this over here. But I'm not doing a row of holes. I'm doing one hole for one cable. Um, it's going there. <clears throat> I'm not stripping this middle of this floor up. Use your logic. I haven't gone where the notches are. I've gone in there and I've come this side on that one. Um, what's that? Random three and a half jack. Should we plug it in? See what's playing. Ooh, nice. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get on. I feel like an artisan with this on. It is coming in up there. I'm going to bring it down back of here and I've just discovered the fuse board is not actually fixed to anything this paper is actually holding it on it's fireproof paper I wonder if this chap put it on his test report okay I'll have to sort that out anyway cable is going to come down the back of here loop out here I can then either gland it in the bottom of the board metal board or put an enclosure here right bedroom carpets back down little tip back of your pad saw putting the carpet back in getting it back in the gripper just run it down the back like that screwdriver's all right but this is nice long and uh pointy lads and lasses trust me this is the stuff they don't teach you at college laying the carpets back down always a fun one all right next little thing carpets down Next little thing to do is get rid of this socket, I'm putting it under this floor. Um, people that keep saying, let me turn that racket off. I keep getting this, why are you putting joint boxes in inaccessible places? This is not inaccessible, it's under a floor, it's accessible. Joint boxes go in the floor, that is life. I'll put a maintenance free one on there, I'll put Wagos with a maintenance free, tool free box. It's accessible under the floor. Um, if there was a socket here, and it was in concrete and somebody put connectors on it and they, they boarded this and then they plastered this and then they tiled it, that's inaccessible. That is not inaccessible. You lift the carpet, you lift the floor, it's there. You're gonna find it. So what I've got is one of these little boxes, tool free. So there's your two cable grippers, that shuts. Took that piece out, um, rated at 16 amp. I'm installing three of these. These are rated at 32, 400 volts. Um, it's going to go under the floor. So, if you're still farting about with um, old junction box with screw terminals, um, you uh, you need to get some of these. That isn't going on because I've just got to cut these little shrouds out on here and then just snip that shut and put that on there. There she is, she's going to sit there pretty and then the next bloke that comes lifts the floor. The one board that's been cut He's going to see, oh great, yeah, junction box, accessible. Pop the cover of the fuse board off. This is the NIC domestic installer. He's put the Hagar. Seems pretty tight. Um, not sure what's going on with that, but it all looks a bit weird to me. I don't know. 
if you look at the colour, it's like not burnt. It's not burnt, it's not overheating, God knows. It just looks very, very discoloured. Um, so yeah, there's, the fixing's actually popped off in the top of there, so this board is just hanging on by one screw and the cables are actually holding it up. I think what I'm gonna do is, so luckily the lighting and the ring main, so there's one ring for the whole house, is on a um, RCD, 30 milliamp RCD. So I need to either mount an enclosure here, try and get one of these breakers, maybe a 60 amp, just to feed um, a little enclosure here, and then put an RCD in an enclosure there. Or try and do something with this. I don't know what this does, if it does anything. So I might pop this cover off of here and have a look. It wasn't very hard, so look, um, it's just cut. So this obviously was some old night storage heaters, I reckon. Um, it's disconnected, it's, there's nothing feeding this whatsoever. Nothing going to that terminal, that's going nowhere. So what I'll do is I will strip this out. Um, it's going in the skip, and I'm gonna have to mount something below here to take this new shower and feed it um, somehow. I'm not quite sure what is going on with this, but I'm going, to, um, I'm going to have a word of her about this. Right, I've just got back from Screw Fix. Um, picked up a few bits. Picked up some pipe clips for the plumber. Um, just got to put the pipe in the wall for him, then I can board the wall. Picked up these little Bosch um, bits. Some chisels and stuff, just boring stuff. Picked up 10 more metres of um, that. <coughs> 10 mil. Because I've got my feed cable in um, through this floor, goes into that cupboard. I've now got to get the load side out in here and then up in here to the shower and just stick it through here for now. And then the toilet can do the other side. And then once I've got that in, I can board the rest of this uh, wall up then. Cable to the shower's in. I've put the water pipe in for the plumber. It's all clipped. Um, comes out the bottom there. This has all got to be put back together now. I have to make that floor good after. Those heating pipes are going, and um, that does an old rad in there, which is going to be fed via that way now. So there we go, and now I can board this up. But um, we're going to carry on with electrical for the minute. So at the minute, my cable's coming out in this airing cupboard, and there for the shower. And then this is the immersion. What, I, what I've done is bought an RCBO for this. I'm going to bring this surface, mount another surface box here, um, a few spur with a 3 amp fuse, trunking around the back here and then straight into there for the other shower. Easy peasy. The client's just phoned. She's happy for me to fit the fan um, up there on the wall. So I'm gonna pile it out, drill it out, and then get my cable in, and then that will leave the tiler. He can come in and um, tile over, and then I'll come and fit the fan after. But we can get the cable in, get the hole drilled, and then we'll come back to this one anyway. Not, no, no, no way gonna be finished today. And then there, there's the shower cable, there's the pipe. Um, for the cold, shower's going to go in here. What I'll get is a wall kit for this, a uh, solid duck through the walls. I always put solid through the walls. Um, I'll bring them out, tiles have got to go on and I'll just make this good. I'll bring my free core down, leave it out here with this. Tyler can finish then. I've then just got to cut a fan isolator in there, which I can get to is in the loft. And I'm hoping these lights are RCD'd, because I'll just get rid of that and then I can fish through here into this flat ceiling and just rewire these lights as well. I'm just coming into this loft to sort out this pig's ear of a job in this little crappy loft. Um, obviously because they've had an extension done, um, they've had some new cables put through and whatnot. Um, I'll just show you what I found. This is no BS, this is what I found. Through, He's done a good job, he's done all the lighting. I found this, so all the earths have been disconnected from the original junction box. 
It's all on an RCD. <clears throat> he's, put, he's moved the six amp onto the RCD side, but then all the earths are cut out, and these JCC ones are metal, so they need an earth. Um, it's just crap. So there's a couple of cables that dive into there, which is down to my new extension. I'm gonna have to pull one out, make one a feed, um, and then get that to my new pull cord switch, and then just sort this pig's ear out. So what I'm gonna do is disconnect this, um, make sure I know where they all go, and then connect all the earths, and then I'm gonna have to tell her I've got to drop all the fittings and just remake all the fittings off because it's a bit scruffy. I've stripped out quite a bit of this now. Um, stripped out one junction box, remade this cable off, which goes to these downlights in this one bathroom. I'll have to drop these now and redo all the earths. Um, I've put my my cable in that goes into my extension, which is going to be my feed. That, I've put that on my new box here because I don't really want to get involved with that too much. It's safe, but it's not great. I might say to her, look, this needs a bigger box on it. Um, this basically is doing my live and neutral and earth into my extension, which I can take to my um, pull cord switch now. Right, that's where I just was laid up above these down lights. These are now switched on here. I've just got to switch that fan over for a new one, which is a vent for next year there. <clears throat> these lights have now got no switch and that white that I connected in is there, which will just get jointed above this down lighter and then extended to my pull cord. And then I'll just wire between the three lights and then this is my new free core that I've managed to fish across to here. I've now got to get this to the um, fan isolator and then a free core from the pull cord <coughs> to the fan isolator itself. Unfortunately, it can't be helped. I've got 400 centre timbers with nothing, no space in there, nothing. So I've had to take out loads of these. Um, three of these are spotlights and I'll just have to fill these back in. But um, I'll put the plugs back in and I'll just give them a quick skim over. But I do it on loads of jobs, they never crack. Right, so the, rather than wiring um, a one mil, two core and earth and a three core, uh, uh, another two core, sorry, back from the switch. What I've done is I've put a three core in. That'll give my um, permanent live and neutral will come through here to here. And then <clears throat> that'll pick up my, that'll, that's my fan. So that'll give my neutral switch line and earth and um, permanent feed to the fan which goes up to the fan isolator, which is now there. That then goes to the fan. Uh, overrun timer and um, comes on when you turn the lights on. So then this brown <coughs> will become my, what I'll do is I'll put a box on there for a down lighter and then the black will be my permanent feed. So that won't be used here, only the brown, which will be my switch. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll link some um, one mil out of here and then that'll go to the last down light and that'll go straight into the down light um, into this box. So rather than wiring two cables, I wired one cable and I'll just, the, the black, which will be my permanent feed or whoever, however how you do it, as long as you flag it up, it doesn't matter. Right, this is where I'm at. All my holes are now filled. All the plugs are back in. Um, with my little battens put across. Fan isolator is now done. Above my head, and then um, he's now taking these JCC ones out um, of here and out of here. And we're going to put four Lucicos in here, um, four in the ensuite, and then these ones are going to go in the kitchen just to replace the, um, the halogen ones that are in there at the minute. So it's now four o'clock. I've got to go home, have a shower, and then go and look at two jobs. Um, I think they're kitchen refurb, so they're going to want um, extra fuse boards putting in, etc. And tomorrow, which will be Thursday, I start another job. Um, it's another fuse board change, so I think I'm going to go for an Eaton on that. Um, um, as you can see, I'm not going to finish this job in this video, so I will be back here next week. So if you want to see sort of part two, where we'll do the showers, um, etc. Obviously, I'm not going to finish because I'm waiting on the tiler. I'm not doing the tiling on this one because it's just too much and I'm just too busy. So um, so when he's done that, this job will be finished, but I will do a part two when I come back and do lights and etc. So thanks for joining me, guys. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.